Oh, yeah, that's all. Yeah, that oh, good. Doesn't it look good? Wow. I've got a fake background. He's got the real kit there, hasn't he? So this is, as as Fix put in the invite, this is a 1980s analog synthesizer. So the yeah. difference between analog and and digital is that um, think of it like a, a record player is analog because it's using um, like a, a, a physical physical medium to make a sound, whereas digital is a representation of an analog sound. So the difference between the two, so like a, a record player uh, playing a record or a CD player. So this this is analog. So what it does, it, it makes sounds by trying to replicate with various um, filters and, um, and oscillators and generators trying to generate sound. And then what you do, you then manipulate the sound to make it sound like other things. Whereas digital, what you can do with digital, you can you can make a sound. So, for example, if you've got a a whistle, uh, you can put a whistle into something digital, and what it'll do, it'll do it'll it'll sample that sound, uh, so that when you play it, it sounds exactly like it was before. It's a representation. Whereas this, you're not. You're trying to mimic it. So, hopefully, you can see I'm not moving too much. So, so the best way to describe how this thing works is going left to to right. So on the left, you've got what's called the uh, the oscillator, the, the voice controlled oscillator, voltage controlled oscillator. This is what generates the, the, the sound within the synthesizer. It's all electronics inside here. It's all, uh, it's all electronic components. There's, 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 there's nothing uh, other than that generating the sound. You've then got this, which is different types of sound. So you've got um, a triangular waveform, a sawtooth waveform, a, uh, a sort of a pulse, pulse waveform and also what's called white noise and each one of these will, will allow you to generate different types of sound so what, what I've got because this doesn't have any speakers itself I, uh, I've got it plugged via this lead here into this keyboard here so so this this is where the, the, the speakers are so I've, I've got this set up at the moment just to make a real simple sound so so you've got the oscillator you're going to move on to a thing called a, a filter and what this filter does, it, uh, it changes the, the, the frequencies that are generated by the synthesizer. Um, you then move on to the thing which is called an envelope generator. And what the envelope generator does, it then uh, changes the various aspects of that sound. So, so I start it's with... Different. It's like um, uh, the attack. So if you get a sudden hard attack, it's pow, you know. As opposed yeah. to a wah, you know, or, so it's the attack, sustain, delay, release, four bits of the um, envelope, isn't it? I That's think. right. Yeah. Now, I, I can demonstrate, I'll demonstrate. So this, so this that is a standard um, triangle waveform. Yeah. You can hear that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what you can do is, put me on, this, this filter here, so you've got different, different so that, that, that sound, you'd say, is used for sort of nice round, round sounds like a flute or um, that, that, that kind of effect. It's quite a, a nice, clean sound. Yeah. You think that's clarinet, a, clarinet sound, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. So a, a nice, clean wind instrument. And then you've got a sawtooth, which is this one setting. Yeah. Which, more, more yeah. Too much more harsh. Yeah. It's got a lot more what's called harmonics within the sound. So that's good for doing things like uh, stringed instruments or brass. Can you hear that? Mm. Like that. Mm. And then you've got a, a, a rectangular waveform, which is more kind of a hollow sound. You can hear that? Yeah. And that, that's, for good, that's for good sort of thing, like sort of reed instruments, um, like clarinets, that kind of thing. And then you've got what's called white noise, which you can see on here. And white noise is... Ooh. That's for mm -hmm. instruments. So, uh, so you can, like gunshots or, or, or it's kind of effects, sound effects. Symbols. You can hear that? Symbol, yeah. symbol noise as well. Yeah. yeah. Drums or something. And then, then you've got this thing here, which is the filter, where you can start to change the uh, 
the, the amount of frequencies that are used. So, so at the moment, I've got it opened up to full. So I'll put it back to, I'll put it back to a note. You can change the, the frequencies that are out through the filter. Right, so I'll, I'll, I'll start to do this when I'm, um, hang on, see if I can do it this way. I'll go back to the other camera. Hang on, like that. Is that working okay? Mm. Yeah. Just about, just about, just about, so. And then you've got a thing here called peak. So what peak does, you can see peak, this peak button here, it changes, it amplifies uh, frequencies. So, um, so you, 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 you can specify what frequencies are amplified. So, You can hear different sounds there. Yeah. Hear the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And then the next thing is you've got to think of an envelope generator. So this is where you were talking about before, where you, where you can say, right, I want sounds to, to, to last longer or for, to go on for longer. So you've got a thing called hold time. So a hold time is the length of time the note stays on. So. So you switch stairs on like that. Mm. You then got an attack time. So at the moment the attack time is set to zero. So as soon as I press a key, it comes on straight away. If I change the attack time, you get a slight delay. You can hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You then got a thing called decay time, which is difficult to hear, but decay time is is you think of a um, uh, I don't know, like a note. A bell. So, it, so, you, so, you, it'll, so it'll start like that with a note. So it'll go, it, the note will go up, then it'll go down. So, so you, and you can specify how long it takes to go up and how long it takes to go down. So going down is what's called a decay. So you go up, you go down, and then you go into a thing called sustain, which is the length of time the, the note lasts for. Well, just think about like a period of time and then you've got this thing called release time which is how long it takes them to kind of just fade away so and you, you, play, you, just play, you just play around with these knobs to get these sounds so so then, then then you've got other things down the bottom here which are called uh, portamento on portamento what that does it's that it's it allows you to slide between notes so if i turn it up a little bit so if I've got, then I go to a higher note. So you can see I can slide between the two, and you can alter. Right. Mm. So that's that's that's, that's portamento, which you go for some kind of some some sound effects, um, and then you've got uh, what's called frequency modulation that allows you to put in things like vibrato. So, you can hear that? Yeah. And you can alter the speed. So you've got, you can come to the speed of that. And this little knob here. What you can also do is, I talked about this, this, this knob here, which is, uh, you've got a, a pulse waveform. You can even alter the, the shape of that pulse. So you think the pulse has just been a, a square, like that. You can change the shape of the top of the square versus the, tip, the shape of the bottom of the square, which, which might sound a bit odd, but, but this little knob here does, does that. And that makes a difference to the sound as well. So, so you can hear it. Uh, hook this up or just play it as a straightforward instrument. You can also hook up hook it into things, uh, I think, called a sequencer, which is an external device. So rather than using the, the keyboard, an external device can control the trigger because what the trick all this keyboard is is what's called a trigger, and that trigger then just tells the synthesizer to create a sound. Uh, if you end up this, this thing here, which is a patch panel, and what this patch panel does, it allows you to control various elements of the sound that's going through the synthesizer. 
So for example, so I've made up these, these patch leads. So you've got these, these patch leads. So what I can do is, uh, I've got, if you look here, there's a, a wheel at the side. And this, what this wheel does, it alters what's called, called the, the, the voltage. Uh, it's like a, like a voltage controller. And you can use that to control frequencies. So if I go, let me change a bit. You see that okay? See that all right? Yeah. So, so you could say, so what you can, might you want to do, you might want to say, if you're playing um, jazz, for example, you might, in a guitar, you might, you might bend the strings in a guitar. So you can have a similar kind of effect with uh, with this. So you can see it. So I'll just, I'll just kind of try and demonstrate that. So if you go. That makes, you can hear that okay? Yeah, yeah. You're bending it all. So very similar to, to a guitar where you're going. Very good, yeah. And that's but then what you can also do is you can change the the octave as well. So back to the, the oscillator here. And these you've got 32, 16, 8, and 4. What that signifies is 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 feet. So like you got on a on a an organ in a in a church, you've got big pipes and small pipes, and they are various sizes. The big pipes are for bass sounds, and the small pipes are for high pitch sounds. So this 32 means a 32 foot, uh, foot pipe in effect. It's just, it's just, just we're representing octaves. Yeah. Each one of these is an octave lower. So by octave um, on the keyboard, that's a C. And that's, all, and that's also a C. Eight, so you just count eight notes down. So that's an octave lower. Yeah, do, re, mi, fa, la. So, T-Do sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 There you go. So, so, so what this does, I go to a bass note. Yeah. I'll turn, I'll turn the modulation off. So, so. Sounds good. Yeah. That's great. Uh, sounds. So let's find this. I'll do a. What have we got on here? So I think I've got Steve. So this this try and guess what this is. So I'll just I'll just use these patch leads to make a sound. So you've got what I didn't really show you this. You've got down here what's called a, a noise generator. A noise generator. So where where's I can do uh, what? There's, there's two types of noise. You can have white noise, or what's called pink noise. Mm -hmm. So white white noise is a mix of all different frequencies. That was the, the sound I showed you before. That's white noise. That's everything. Every frequency just giving you a complete noise. Yeah, and that was called pink noise. And what the difference between white and pink is a pink removes some of the frequencies. So it's a, a bit like a dirty, a dirty white noise, probably the best way to describe it. So, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put some pink noise. I'm going to add it to... Uh, Add it to, to the sound of the synthesizer. So, so a pink noise generated by the synthesizer. I'm now adding it back into the into the filter. So, uh, if I if I set this up, so let's try and guess what this is. Uh, a chance. Set this up. Uh, uh. Right. So here we, here we go. 
Good, I'm good. Can you hear that okay? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's make this a bit louder. <laughs> sound like a steam engine. Yeah, it does sound very subtle, doesn't it? It does sound like a steam engine. There you go, that's a steam engine, you're right. Hey. So I don't, need to, I don't necessarily need to uh, control it via the keyboard. Do what's called a trigger. So I, I have, I, when I mentioned what the keyboard is, just a, a trigger to make the sound happen, I, I can set this up so that um, I'm creating my own trigger from the... Now, now it's triggering itself now. There you go. Right. You can hear that okay? Yeah. <laughs> and we've got a train set. Yeah. Train set, there you go. So, so what all you do is you, you all you doing is you're manipulating the sound and the filters and how long the, the sound comes on for, how long it stays for, and that, by that you, you're mimicking sounds. But all this is done by analog, so, so none of this is um, an actual sound. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do. Uh, I think this one was a. Let's let's do a. I can do a UFO. Do a UFO. Or I can do a voice. Uh, let me think. Right. Uh, right. So yeah, we'll do a, do a gunshot. Let's do a gunshot. A uh, gunshot's quite easy to do. So turn this, speak to that. There we go. Yeah. So imagine doing this. Imagine this when you're in a concert trying to figure all this out. There you go. There's invaders. There's a gunshot. <laughs> yeah. That's right, it's very painstaking, isn't it? Setting up all the electronics of these analog old analog synthesizers. And so, when you think of the groups, they would have spent ages just getting all those patches just to get one particular sound and then setting up a sequencer and then getting another synthesizer and setting another sound up. You know, it, it takes a long time, doesn't it? You know, it, it, it does, yeah, which, which is why typically you, you, you'd have this set up mm. for maybe a certain track. So there's many bands that still use this this synthesizer, but what, um, what I'm saying is that so rather than using the keyboard, you use what's called an external sequencer. So mm -hmm. you, you plug it into another device, and that other device would control what happens to mm -hmm. uh, to the keyboard. Um, you can you can play as an instrument, as, as I was shown before. So you can, you can you can use it as a as an instrument if you want to. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, and, and bands would develop a certain sound as well. You know, so it is mm. really flexible, isn't it? So you know, like the Human League would develop a certain sort of sound. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I think what, what style, you know, I'm saying, you know. What people like this one, this instrument for is is for bass for bass sounds. It's, mm. it's, it's, it's known for being very good for for bass. Mm. Uh, That often that's what they'd be, that's what they'd be used for. Uh, but you, you can play around. You can make all different sounds by, by playing around with it. 